plus Mathieu Goss from Australia. Uh, what I knew about the Tour de France before I went to Europe, I guess, was all what I've seen on TV. You know, the half hour clips of, a, of an evening about six o'clock. I remember sitting down watching that when I'd been out training, come back and see that. And uh, you know, some of the first guys I remember seeing when I started getting into cycling was the guys like Bjarne Reese and these guys, you know, as it turned out, they went on to be one of my first bosses as a, as a professional cyclist. So it's, it's a pretty strange thing to, to watch these guys on TV and then, then, you know, 10 years later end up having him as your boss. Looks to me as though we've got Matthew Goss breaking on the left and he's timed it to perfection. Now that is an incredible result. Yeah, I guess it is a pretty specialised thing. It's something that you're born with and, uh, you know, maybe that's born with a little bit of crazy as well in there. But the buzz you get out of it is incredible. I think when you, you cross the line, especially if you get, get the win, uh, there's almost goosebumps on your arm. And Goss really has got his legs on this year. You feel the adrenaline just after the finish line. At the time, it's 100% concentration. You're thinking of everything that possibly could happen, everything that is happening, and everything that has happened in the last few hundred metres, so as you know, the right decision to make you know, when you have to make it. You're a centimetre off the wheel in front of you, but you're not even looking at it kind of thing. You just Everything's going on feeling... Uh, you're just thinking of the next move you're going to make and thinking whether to go, whether to wait, who to follow, who not to follow and you know, there's a million things going through your mind at once. I don't think that you could actually recall the last 500 metres, you know, metre by metre if you tried. I'd love to, love to win a stage at the Tour de France. I wouldn't be picky, I wouldn't be picking the Champs-Élysées but you know, that'd be, that'd be a great, great thing to have on your, your palm arrows at the end of your career. It'd be, it'd be an awesome finish for the Tour de France if you're there. Thank you.